everyone, welcome to my Logic Pro 11 Mixing Fundamentals course. My name is Josh Carney, and I'm the owner of Carney Media Group, which is my own small music, audio, and media production company. But a lot of you probably know me from YouTube as Music Tech Help Guy. I've been doing production work for a while now, over 20 years, working as a music producer, mixing engineer, musician, songwriter, and educator in music and audio production. This is a 24-part course designed to teach you the fundamentals of mixing in Logic Pro. But instead of just giving you a bunch of disconnected tutorials, I'm going to take you through a real mixing session from start to finish. You'll learn how I would mix a track step by step in the same order I'd actually do it in real life. So it's not just about isolated techniques, it's about the full process and how everything connects. One of the things I wanna emphasize up front is that I'll be using all stock Logic Pro plugins and tools throughout the entire course. No third-party plugins are required. Everything I'll show you is built into Logic 11 with the exception of one particular guitar amp sim plugin, but you can substitute this for your favorite guitar amp sim or amp designer instead. So here's a quick rundown of what we'll be covering. How to properly set up a mix using raw multi-tracks, fixing phase issues in your drums and using flex time for time correction on multi-mic drum recordings, drum sample replacement and doubling techniques, understanding mix routing, sends, buses, aux tracks and track stacks, shaping tone and dynamics with EQ and compression, creating depth and space with reverb, delay, and modulation, dialing in guitar and bass tones, cleaning up and tuning vocals using flex pitch, how and when to use a de mixing lead vocals and backing vocals, and aligning the backing vocals with the lead vocal. Automation, including volume and plug-in automation. And finally, we'll wrap up the course with mix revisions and mastering the song using Logic's Mastering Assistant plugin. The song we're gonna use for the course is called Now That You're Sober. It's a track from my band Right Stripped, released on our 2021 album, Daylight Into Darkness. I'd call this a hard rock track that dips into heavy metal territory in the bridge. It's got vocals, backing vocals, rhythm guitars, lead guitars, a guitar solo, bass guitar, along with multi-track drums. We'll start with the raw multi-tracks completely unprocessed, and then by the end of the course, you'll have a fully mixed and mastered version of the song using only Logic's stock tools. Don't you ever tell me why?
As always, the entire course will be available to watch for free on YouTube, but if you want to support the channel and get a bit more out of the experience, you can purchase the full course from my website, logicproguide.com. If you buy the course, you'll get 24 videos, which you can download ad-free, the full set of raw multi-tracks so you can mix along with me, and there are Logic demo project files for each tutorial, so you can dive right into the session exactly where we left off. And the course download also includes my own custom drum sample library that you can use for drum replacement. These are all 100% original drum samples that I recorded at a studio many years back. This includes 17 different kick drums, nine different snare drums, and three different sets of toms. Each set has four distinct toms. And these are all sampled from various DW collector series drums at varying sizes and tunings. Now, before we dive in, I wanna go over a few key mixing terms that you're gonna hear a lot throughout the course. First up, we have DBFS. This stands for decibels relative to full scale, which is the digital headroom limit in your DAW. So zero DBFS is the absolute max level before clipping. So volume levels in DAWs are typically measured in negative values that are lower than zero. Unity or unity gain. This is a term that means no change in level. So the signal is passed through at the same volume it came in. So when you option click on a fader or some other parameter, that controls gain or volume, that means you're returning that parameter to unity. Boost and attenuate. This is pretty straightforward. Boosting is increasing a level and attenuating is cutting it. Filters. Let's talk about filters. We will use high pass filters to cut out low end rumble, low pass filters to tame harsh highs, and peaking filters or bands to surgically shape frequencies within equalizers. Wet versus dry. Dry is an unprocessed signal and wet is the affected signal. Like in a reverb, the dry signal has no reverb on it and the wet signal is all reverb and you can blend these two signals together. And this also applies to compression. We're gonna be using parallel compression a lot throughout the course where you can blend the uncompressed signal with the wet compressed signal. So wet and dry refers to unprocessed versus processed signals. I also recommend having some experience with Logic or really any DAW before jumping into this course. You should already understand at least the bare basics of how to use EQ and compression, how to navigate Logic's interface and manage tracks. If you're new to Logic or just need a refresher, I highly recommend checking out my Logic Pro 11 Essentials course, also available on YouTube, and you can also purchase that course on my website, logicproguide.com. All right, so let's get started. In part two, we're going to jump right in by setting up our session and prepping the raw multi-tracks for mixing. I hope you enjoy this course, and thanks for watching.